Right then, welcome to part two of my barn find resto fixie single speed painted rattle can bike. It's not what it's called, but it's it, the words are right. If you haven't seen part one, I'd definitely go and watch that first. Uh, you can see where this bike came from and kind of how it got to this stage. In my opinion, a very cool paint job and I can show you how I did it. It'll be in the link below, but um, or you can check it on my actual channel itself. You know, if you go in there, you might as well subscribe, you know, if you want. But that's enough of that nonsense. Let's get on with this build. The parts on this bike are pretty uh, mixed. Some of them are really nice, some of them are pretty average, and some of them are just standard parts, unbranded and things like that. Uh, this headset, for example, is just unbranded. It was cheap, but I needed some that was black, but also that I could get delivered. And uh, this is the one that arrived. I go through grease like crazy with the amount of like builds I, I do and like bikes I take apart for no reason but to build up again. Um, so I often go for something pretty average. This is the first time I'm actually using part tools grease. Um, so I'm quite intrigued to know if this more expensive, more premium grease is actually any different. So the first good part on this bike is this stem from Brick Lane Bikes. Uh, there's quite a few Brick Lane Bike parts on this bike. <laughs> Try to say that three times fast. The seat post is also from Brick Lane Bikes. Brick Lane Bike parts on this bike. Brick Lane Bike parts on this, no yeah, I can't do it. The bottom bracket is just a standard uh, Shimano one. It's nothing special. Uh, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to put in there, so I just had this one ready. It was brand new, but um, it was for another build, as usual. Um, so I chucked it in here. Interestingly though, only the drive side actually fit. When I actually tried to put the, the non-drive side part of the, the bottom bracket in, I, I could not get it to go in. I have no idea why. So this is the original one that was on it when it when I got picked up the the barn bike uh, the barn bike so, uh, barn fire the bike you know what I'm trying to say um, so that's that's that the crank set is a Sagino Pista um, it's a 44 tooth uh, crank uh, and I'm going to be pairing it with a 16 tooth free wheel so it's um it's not too hard it's quite nice for flat um it's probably I probably would have said on, in reflection, the, the crank set, I probably would have gone a little bit bigger uh, because as soon as I get up to speed, I spin a little bit too much, but only just, so it, it's okay. The saddle is a another brick lane part bike part part. <laughs> it's the fly saddle. Um, I'm a massive uh, charge spoon fan, um, and this is one of the few saddles I've ever got that is actually quite similar to that. Um, it's not exactly the same. It's a little bit wider, but I think for for more casual riding, this is like perfect for me. I really really like it. Guess who makes the next part? That's right, it's another brick lane bike part part for my new bike. These are the road wrap riser bars. 
These are unbelievably comfortable. They're probably the most narrow bars I've ever ridden on a bike. Uh, I come from mountain biking really, so like narrow bars aren't really a thing that I've ever really done much more, much of. Um, but these are super nice and comfortable to ride on still, even though they're so narrow. I'm no master when it comes to cable routing. Uh, there's probably some really good ways of doing it. I'm probably loads of bad ways that I do it. This bike has internal routing as well for the top tube, which I was super worried about. I thought it was gonna be the biggest pain in the ass. But as you can see from my reaction, it went through first try. The brake lever is also another brick lane bike part. That's seriously getting harder to say. Uh, and then the, the caliper is um, from Shroom. I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but these are my uh, Jipwemi uh, Pista wheels. Jipwemi. That's definitely wrong, so I do apologize. But uh, I got these second hands on eBay. They're pretty budget anyway, but uh, I thought I'd find some second hand ones. And these were really sick. They were in good condi condition. Perfect for me to wreck. chain is just a, a single speed SRAM chain. It was on offer. I like SRAM stuff, so. And the pedals, and again, as usual, are from a different build. Um, they're DMR pedals. I can't remember exactly which ones. I want to say like M8, V8, something like that, but they're sick. Uh, and then the grips aren't anything special, but they kind of match the color, so they worked. And here she is, the finished goods. Um, I I've got a little bit of bad news now as well, because this is the only clip I have, including this one. I've got one pretty rubbish riding video, this one, and that's it. Um, I uh, somehow, deleted all the footage uh it's a long story it's a boring story but i lost a load of stuff yeah i know what you're thinking why don't you just go and take some more videos of it well i mean i might have dismantled it but it, it was to build another bike story of my life um but it was for charity this bike so you might recognize this one because it is one from the channel. This is my Squid Games bike from the previous videos. Um, I'm now giving this bike away uh, in a raffle. Um, tickets are three pounds. You can buy them on my website and you could get this bike for basically nothing. It's all going to uh, Movember is the charity I've chosen. Uh, so far I've made just over 140 pounds. Uh, which I'm pretty happy with, but I'd love to make more. So if you do want to get involved, check out the website. The link is below and um, all the information you need to know about how you can get this bike. But let me try and make this up to you. I will rebuild this bike properly. I've got all the parts I need again to do it. So I will be doing it again soon. Um, and then I'll give you some proper footage of the bike. Uh, I did ride it for quite some time to, to work and it is sick. Uh, so it will come back very soon. Big shout out to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Uh, if there's anything you enjoyed in this video, I'd really appreciate it. If you liked it as well, that'd be awesome. Uh, the next video is gonna be a hack video. Uh, I've made something pretty cool. Uh, so subscribe so you don't miss that.